inner space, yet another frontier. We have the technology to see further than ever inside the human body, revealing elements never before defined in medicine. Nanobacteria is one such microorganism only recently discovered thanks to modern technology and the medical expertise of today. Modern medicine has enabled us to uncover this pathogen deep inside the human body and within other areas of the medical field. In the next few minutes, we'll discover what nanobacteria are, how they form, and what impact they have on our health and the delivery of health care. Nanobacteria were discovered in 1988 by Dr. Olavi Kayander during his study of mammalian cell cultures. In 1991, Dr. Neva Shola joined his research and discovered calcification properties of nanobacteria. Today, both lead Nanobac as the key researchers in this exciting discovery. Nanobacteria can be found in many parts of the human body. The arteries, the veins, and almost certainly in any part of the body that blood flows. It is the smallest self-replicating life form, smaller than lymphocytes, red blood cells, E. coli, yet larger than most viruses. Nanobacteria starts by adhering to a cell surface. Over time, they begin to excrete a slimy biofilm, which accumulates calcium and phosphorus from the bloodstream. This biofilm also triggers the inflammatory cascade, like macrophages, immunoglobulins, and lymphocytes, as they try to wall off the site of infection. Nanobacteria eventually create a hard calcified shell which protects them from the immune response and supplies them a safe shelter for multiplication. When the calcium shell dissolves, it releases all of the small, less calcified nanobacteria into the bloodstream, where the process can repeat again and again. Nanobacteria divide via binary fission, where one parent cell divides into two identical daughter cells. Budding can also occur where one parent cell can form another nanobacterium. This multiple disbursement capability releases juvenile nanobacteria in the bloodstream, where they travel to sites prone to calcification and start the process all over again. Common areas where they may be found are calcified heart vessels and heart valves, kidney stones, dental pulp stones, gallstones, calcific tendinitis, and even cancers with calcium, which can include prostate, breast, thyroid, and ovarian cancer. At Nanobac, we are researching the most effective solutions to detect and fight this unique pathogen in the body. But the nanobacteria impact reaches beyond the body and into biomedical applications. Calcium has been discovered on stents and replacement joints, which explain why these items need to be replaced over time due to calcium buildup that may be caused by nanobacteria. Additionally, we have discovered nanobacteria contamination in bioindustrial applications. Since the sterile filtration process alone cannot eradicate nanobacteria, and some biomedical products are prepared in cell cultures contaminated with nanobacteria, using standard bioindustrial quality control measures may not eradicate this pathogen. In fact, nanobacteria was first discovered in poorly thriving cell cultures. Dr. Kyander explored the reason for the cell death. He discovered that nanobacteria had contaminated the fetal bovine serum of these cultures. Nanobacteria has become the focus of his career since that breakthrough discovery. At Nanobac, our sole focus is to uncover the reasons nanobacteria infect the body, how they're introduced into the body, and how we can most effectively prevent, diagnose, and treat this insidious pathogen. The research we're pioneering at Nanobac may lead to a revolutionary paradigm shift in the healthcare industry.
as nanobacteria relates to the treatment and management of calcification-related diseases. Nanobac, discovering the next revolution in healthcare.